Pick up the pen, put it on the paper, write on my skin, bring me to life. Happy Monday. Welcome to Journal Jot and Jive. This is a Renee and I am here today so we can do a fitness layout. This is going to be a fitness layout in my happy planner, the mini size happy planner. I am getting back into fitness for real, for real, because lately um, I have been, yeah, I've been fake fitness planning like it was cute and I have all these ambitions and goals and I just don't do it. So we're going to go ahead and flip to my fitness section in the Happy Mini Planner. And as you see, I have some layouts done. Yeah, they're cute, but nothing is written in. So we're going to fold. This was last week. Well, I wrote a little bit of stuff in. But we're going to go to this third week, and we're going to make it real. We're going to make sure that I am actually working out. And I'm going to go ahead and shop my stash and use the things that I have to make this spread work for this week. So I'm going to go ahead and start this layout. I like, I really don't like this layout. So let me say that. I really don't like this layout, but I do like the fact that I can use washi to move things out of the way that I'm not going to use. So the whole track your meals in each little box, I'm not going to do that. I am going to track my meals, but I'm going to use some of the stickers that are provided in some of the fitness books that I have. So I'm known to slap a little washi here and there down. If you're not a washi lover, you don't have to. I always tell people, do what makes you happy. Do what makes your spread work for you. And so I don't have a rhyme or reason to how I am putting this washi down. I just want a little flare added to the page. And so since this is y'all's first Shop Your Stash video with me, I guess I can get you a little familiar with my planning style. I am typically a daily sheet type planner. So sometimes the weekly spread gets a little challenging for me. And it just does. So it'll be real cute. But to me, it's not always necessarily functional, but I don't like wasting the spread. However, with the fitness, it's not going to be that hard for me to keep rolling with this one because I have a couple of things that I'm going to track and that'll make it a little bit easier. So the things that I will track, I will do the water intake. They already provide you with the sections where you can track your water. You can cover that up if you want. But I am also going to track my, I'm going to track my calorie count, but I'm going to track it different than a lot of people typically will do. A lot of people will track their calorie count by their exercise. So they'll track it like, okay, I worked out and I burned 400 calories, 300 calories. Well, I'm going to track calories by the entire day. So at the end of the day, I have to figure out what time because it needs to be consistent. I will track my calories and so the reason I'm doing it that way prior to me falling off from fitness I was into fitness heavy so I learned how you pay attention to the calories that you eat in comparison to what you burn so I want to be able to see how many I'm burning per day and how much food that I'm putting in so I will be watching my calories as far as food and then that over all calorie count and so I'll have a separate page for like food layouts recipes and what I'm gonna do for the week but I will track the meals on this page all right so we have all those calorie stickers down and if you were wondering how you can track the overall calories if you have a fitness watch it will track your overall calories for the day so that is a real cool component of my fitness watch that I'll be using. Now each sheet, I like to put a fitness sticker doll. These stickers are from Oso oh Paper Co. I'm shopping my stash because I actually bought the digital files from her. And so I just put shop your stash on the top just so I know like, hey, use this 
and put it somewhere. So I'm gonna use a couple of these on the spread. I am now looking for a scale. I weigh myself each week, even though I don't like to. But I need a measurement of what I'm looking like. So we're gonna put our scale right here. And we have a cute little doll where she's on the scale. So I'm gonna put that right there by the scale. And then I'm gonna put another doll over here. I'm gonna put a little fitness doll in the corner where it says never give up. And I actually like lifting weights. I like lifting weights 100 times better than cardio. So that will actually be cool for me. Hold on, y'all. I need her to actually. Let's see, because I am going to. She's not going to work. She has to be a little bit smaller. So let me move her on back on here. And I put her back on there so crooked. All right, so I need her right here. Okay, so I have her on there. And now I wanna go ahead and find our stickers where I'll track the meals, but it's all in one box. It's not just all the way down. And every now and then I'll switch that up. But for this week, I don't want, I don't want that there. So I'm gonna use the boxes where everything comes all together. Now you will see that this box would run into her hair. So what I'm gonna do is take my X-Acto knife and cut it down so it doesn't cover. Actually, yeah, it's gonna have to cover her hair because I won't have room to write dinner. Let me see if I can be a little creative and pull this up slightly without ripping it. All right, made it work, made it work. Okay, so I put that right there. I'll go ahead and finish putting the other ones in. And again, you don't have to add all of this to your fitness planner. I just wanna shop my stash and use this stuff up so that I can make room for more. When I recorded, y'all, I actually started on the wrong, the wrong page. <laughs> so I had to start over because I wasn't feeling the other page as much as this one. And sometimes you will see that my stickers are going on crooked and it is driving me batty, but I'm not going to just stop and pick every single thing up. I'll find a way to camouflage that slightly. There's a way around it. And so I'm about to do the same thing with her, like I did with the one on the other side. So I'm going to lift her head up, try not to tear it. Then I'll go in there and put that. Now some of the books actually, and that the D for dinner is going to be covered up, but I live, it won't drive me that baddie. Some of the books actually have little inspirational things that might say eat clean. So you can pop that word eat clean on there. Some of them have healthy. It just has small little sayings that you can put. So you can add that stuff in there. Pick up the pen. Now we have the bills. We're going to track our calories. Right and I also skin. like tracking my steps. Bring That's something really cool you can do if you're getting into fitness. 
is tracking your steps or you can track your miles. I'm not a runner. Yeah, I'm just not a runner. I want to be. I think it's really, really cute. I really, really want to be. But I haven't mastered that. Like, I'll get on a treadmill and I'll run a little bit. But I'll get on a Stairmaster before I get on the treadmill. And if you don't know what the Stairmaster is, try it one time and you're probably going to be like, girl, you're crazy. But I'll do that before I'll even get on a treadmill. So we're going to pop in these steps. And I'm going to alternate. going to alternate the colors. I'm going to add a splash of this pink because they don't have. I'm almost out of my steps. That's why y'all are going to see this inconsistent color, but I'll pull it all together. So I'm going to put all of those down. And my goal is to plan in under, really under 15 minutes, 20 minutes top. I just think it can be done, especially with this fitness one, or well, this particular page. All right, so we got one more step to put down, and then that's the step. And then if you want to add little embellishments in here, you can. Like you can do the little sneakers they have in some of the books. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it a little closer. Pull the thing out the way. So that's what you're looking like for the spread before I write any little extra things in. And then you can decide like, am I going to lift weights on a certain day if I'm going to do cardio? And then that just all depends on what you're feeling like. I haven't decided what my routine will be this week so I won't necessarily be able to do that too tough so we'll eat clean down like I said they have a little tennis shoe if you just want to indicate that's somewhere on the steps add a little touch and then you go in through the rest of the week and add what you have and track your stuff so you can track your steps you track your calories track your water count that is a good way to start and then track your food I also used to I don't know if I'm gonna do it this go round. I used to track my um, beats per minute when I worked out like to see the highest level that I got to I would track that now that was actually pretty cool to track those so we have all of that put in there and I think that's gonna be all that I add on here because I actually break things down a little differently when it comes to what I'm gonna eat like how many cups I need the grocery list is gonna be on another page and I'll actually do a video to show you how that is done because I need a little more room for all of that and that is done on those paper packs like I buy the paper packs and I use those differently so that I can show on another video but this was just to get us started and so I'm gonna look at a couple of more things just to see if I want to just add something for a flare and actually there is something that I did I took my measurements and I do want to keep up with that, but there is not a sticker that is rolling with what I like, so it won't go on there today. If I find it later, I'll add it in. So yeah, I was just looking one more time over to see if it's anything else that may add to my page. Add a little water sticker right there. And 
And I think that's going to be it, y'all. Like I said, I don't want to overdo it. I'll go in and add different things throughout the week. This sweat is pretty. And so that is going to be our layout for this week. It was pretty simple, nothing major. I shopped my stash. I used all the books that I had fitness-wise, which is that book right there. We have the Agenda 52 book. I have the Worky book. So those were the books that were used. And then I used some of the cute digital dolls from Oh So Paper Co., and so my sheet that will have the grocery list on there, that'll be, you'll see one of those and I'll post a picture on my Instagram page with that. But that will be all that we're going to do on here and I'll go in and I'll fill in what I ate. I'll fill in the water, my steps, exercise, I've already weighed in, I'll do that and then I'm going to put my measurements in here. And like I said, there's the sticker for that, but I'm just not about to hunt that down right now. So I am glad you all joined the first plan with me. Um, I hope you continue to roll with me. If this channel is something that you like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell. So every time that I post, you will be in the know. And that is it for right now. I'll see y'all next time. And I did go over my 15 minutes, but I'm gonna get that down. So y'all have a great week. Get that exercise in, drink that water. And shop your stash and write your heart out. This is A. Renee. Pick up the pen, put it on the paper, right on my skin.